Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP and today I'm going to show you how to make the most perfect smashed burger ever. Okay, a smashed burger is the best burger to have. Alright, I'm going to start off, I've got some simple white sandwich bread here. I'm just going to give that a little bit of butter on there, just like that. And I've got a medium heat pan, I'm just going to put those uh, pieces of bread down and I'm going to toast those off. Now, the smashed burger is the most perfect and most simplest burger anyone can make. Gives you a great surface area, gives you a really nice crisp meat, and uh, it just tastes great. It takes no time to cook at all. All right, so here I've got some mince, uh, some ground beef for you Americans that like to call it that, and I'm just gonna put that on some greaseproof paper. Now, normally you would put that ball into the pan or onto a griddle and smash it with a spatula. This is a really good non-stick pan i'm not going to destroy it by risking hitting it with a spatula so i'm putting that in some grease proof paper a little uh dollop of mince just like that around about 30 grams worth and uh just squeeze that down with your your hands it makes it a little bit quicker easier and you're cheating a bit a little bit of oil in your pan put that burger down just like that now that meat is still nice and loose and crumbly but we've got it all together Make sure it's not sticking to the pan, just give that a little bit of a uh, what for with your spatula and put two in, we can cook two at a time. These don't take very long at all to cook. Right, so as you can see, I've already got my toast sitting there, ready to go. And look, to be honest with you, and I've learnt over the years that there's only two toppings or two flavorings that you can put on a burger. One is mustard, one is mayonnaise. Don't use the tomato sauce, it is too sweet. So I've just put a little bit of uh, Australian mustard down on those burgers there. And the only other thing I'm gonna add in is a bit of caramelized onion. Um, I like that. You can just use fresh onion if you want. So I'm just using a little bit of poetic license by using the uh, caramelized onion. So you, once you see blood rise to the top of the burger, it's time to flip. We're gonna flip those, right? And the only other thing we really need to do is a bit of cheese. We're gonna put that cheese straight on top just after we flip those. And to make that cheese melt and get nice and incorporated into those nooks and crannies of the meat, we're gonna cover that just like I've done there with a, uh, a cafe style barbecue cover or griddle cover and look at that look at that beautiful melted cheese it's just got into every nook and cranny of that meat it's a really quick and really simple to make that'll take you maybe 10 12 minutes to make in total all right we can just get all that cheese all that meat and put that straight onto those slices of bread that we've got and now it's time to start dressing these up and making them look really really nice Okay, so first burgers we're doing, this is for my better half, just homemade dill pickles. Don't know how to make dill pickles? Subscribe to the channel, go back and have a look and I'll show you how to make your own dill pickles and a slice of tomato. Very, very simple, just like that. Okay, let's put these onto a plate. This is a nice little simple light open burger, great for lunch or uh, an afternoon snack and Put a little bit of greenery with it just to give it a little bit of color some mixed leaves and there you go that's the open bergen version all right let's get on to the uh, full-on smash burger all right a little bit of mayonnaise that goes on so we have mustard on the bottom mayo on the top slice of tomato just like that and we're going to add our dill pickles on top of that and there's if you make your dill pickles the way I have, you will be in absolute heaven. They are the most amazing dill pickle. They really are. You can't buy a dill pickle that tastes as good as that. Put your lid on, just like that. A little bit of a smush, not too much. Just make sure everything's seated right. And once again, we're gonna add a little bit of greenery to the situation, and that will just work in absolutely perfectly with those burgers. Love to try and love to see you make this one at home. That's a really simple recipe, I know, but it's all in the technique and getting it right and getting that meat nice and thin 
is part of the technique. You can smash it on the barbecue, put the meat down as a ball, and give it a good whack, and uh, that will work as well. I'm showing you how to make it at home, in your own kitchen, anyway. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence, it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Please share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media. We're trying to get the name of KP's Kingdom out there. No matter how complicated or how simple the recipe is, hit that notifications bell, you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Australian. Anyway, I'm off to hit this uh, perfect smashed burger. And I will catch you next time. Bye.